In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Shopify API integration. So please watch the video until the end and follow this tutorial step by step to avoid making mistakes. So let's get started. So first we want to head over our Shopify dashboard. So go to admin.shopify.com. So what is a Shopify API? So the Shopify API is a powerful tool set that allows developers to integrate, extend, and customize the functionality of Shopify's e-commerce platform. So it enables businesses and developers to build custom applications, automate processes, manage store data, and integrate external services seamlessly. Shopify offers a variety of APIs, including REST and GraphQL APIs to help developers access Shopify's extensive platform resources and build tailored solutions for stores of all sizes. So now let's proceed on getting started on our Shopify API. So the first thing that you want to do is from here in your dashboard, you want to click on settings in the lower left corner of the screen. Now from here, you'll see a bunch of different settings in the left hand side. So you want to select apps and sales channels. And from here, you'll see all of the apps installed to your Shopify store. Now you want to click here on develop apps. Now we want to click on create an app. Now just select the app name. So for now, I'm just going to name it test. Click on create app. And now we will be redirected to this page. But before we can start using the app, we need to configure our API. So let's go to configurations. And as you can see right here, admin API integration. So you connect your store data to your backend services with the admin API and webhooks. So let's click on configure. And you'll see a bunch of different options right here. So you need to select those that you need. So let's say we want to check this read analytics, read apps the uh, write files and read files, gift cards, inventory, on like that. Now let's click on save. So again, it still depends on what you want. So you don't need to follow everything that I have selected. So uh, just take time to read right here on the options that you want to include in the admin API access scopes. Now that we're all set in admin API integration, we can go back to configuration. So now you can also create unique, unique shopping experiences with storefront API. So again, you can configure this and again, select those options that you need right here. So again, you don't need to follow mine. Still depends on you. So when you are all set and done right here, you can now click on save. Now let's go to the next uh, section, which is API credentials. And as you can see right here, the first option is access tokens. So you don't have any access tokens yet. So to get your admin API and storefront API access tokens, you need to install your app. So what we're going to do here is simply install our app. But before installing our app, we'll need to keep our access tokens secure, only share them with developers that you trust to safely access your data. Also, you will see your API key right here and secret key. So this will be your API key and secret key. So you can simply copy it right here, copy it right here. Also, you can use your client secret to verify incoming webhooks. Now that we're all set and done, we need to click on install app. 
So again, installing gives this app access to your data. You'll get an access token that's limited to the API scopes you selected. Make sure you've only selected scopes that your app needs to work. So again, you just need to select the right scopes that you need for your app to work. So choose wisely and make sure that you only selected those that you need. So now let's click on install app, click on install. And now you have your access token. So this is going to be your access token. So to protect your data, you'll only be able to reveal your admin API token once. So when you click here on reveal token once, you need to copy and save your admin API access token in a secure place. So uh, be careful when clicking this reveal token once because you can only reveal this once. So after revealing, make sure to save it in a secure place. And now that you have your uh, access token, let's now go to our app settings. So this will be your app information. So again, your app name. You can also always change it right here. You can also add your app description. Also your app contact information right here. So you're going to be the primary app developer. The development update contact, this is just optional. So you can add email address for anyone else that you would like to receive development updates related to this app. So simply add the email address if you want to uh, do this. And now you can also identify your app in your Shopify admin. So we're clicking here on receive technical updates. And now you'll be redirected to this article. So you can just simply read this if you want to get technical updates. So basically, uh, Shopify API is an essential tool for businesses and developers looking to extend and enhance the functionality of their Shopify store. So from creating custom apps to automating workflows and building custom storefronts, the API offers endless possibilities for personalization, integration, and automation. So whether you're a small business owner looking to streamline operations or a developer building advanced e-commerce solutions, Shopify's API tools are robust enough to meet a wide range of needs. So that's basically how you can set up your Shopify API. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.